hello guys and welcome to my channel today's hot topic i'm going to be talking about a subject that i kind of been dreading the past few months and it's going to be my it's gonna be grieving for a pet so stay tuned you want to see that Welcome to my channel. Today's episode on Hot Topic, I'm going to be talking about grieving for a pet. Um, for for those who do understand and for those who don't. Um, grieving for a pet is, is difficult. It's just like grieving for a family member to pet owners. Because um, we treat them like family. And it's not easy to deal with. It's not easy to talk about like for the first month after. Um, but it's been about three months for me, so I think that's enough time for me to <laughs> keep it together and, and talk about it. Um, so I had Koji for 12 years. Um, he went in for surgery. There was a mass on his stomach um, that made him stop eating, so we took, I took him to the vet. They checked him out, said this and then going to have surgery. He made it through surgery quite well. He was in recovery. Um, he just didn't make it through recovery that well. Um, he waited till we got there, which I think he didn't want to be alone when it happened. So yeah, so grieving a pet is, it's just, for me, it's just as bad as, as grieving for a family member. It's up there. Those are the same for me. Um, grieving for a pet, no matter if it's a dog, a cat, a hamster, a fish, um, if you treat them like family, you have that bond with them, it still hurts when when they're gone. It's been three months for me and it still it still hurts like the day it happened. Um, it's not easy to deal with. It's not easy to talk about, especially to people who have never had a pet, who have never lost a pet. They don't get it. They don't understand it. Um, they they have to imagine that this pet is a family member it's like a child to some owners like me koji was my child and it's not cool that it happened um but it happens he was 12 he was near the end of his um breeds lifespan as it was so yeah it wasn't cool it happened um, I just suggest people who don't have pets or don't understand it to be very sensitive, to be very caring. Um, never ever say it was just a pet. Whatever the pet was, it was just a dog. To the pet owners, it's not just a pet to us. That was our family member. To some of us, that was our child and we lost them. It's really bad to do that because you either... Um, make them not want to talk to you anymore or you'll make them lash out at you. Those are those are your two options. If you say it's just a pet, they will either stop talking to you, period. They'll stop any communication with you or they will lash out at you and be very, very angry, which they have the right to be, and call you names, which I'm not saying that's right, but if you just tell them it's just a pet, it's not a big deal, they're going to say something. I would. I would be calling somebody that would say that every name in the book, I wouldn't care because Koji just wasn't a dog to me. He was my child. Um, especially when you raise them from a very small puppy. Like if you're a dog, I have a puppy. Um, I raised Koji when he was eight weeks old. So yeah, there's a bond and connection there. So when somebody says, it's just a dog, I snap. I'm sorry. Not really. <laughs> not really when somebody says, it's just a dog. No, it's not. Koji was not just a dog, he was my child. So for somebody to say, it's just a dog, don't ever say that to me. I will be, now I'll probably just won't even talk to you anymore. I'll just like disconnect from you. I wouldn't want anything to do with you, especially if you say, it's just a dog. It's just a dog that I have a bond with, that I raised since he was eight weeks old, no. Pet owners know that bond that non-pet owners can't understand. Because when you have a pet, you create this kind of bond that 
you would equate with like an infant child. That's the kind of bond you would have. That's the only kind of bond I can think of. So you have an infant child and you care for this child. That's the kind of bond that you have with your pet. Um, people who never had pets don't understand it. They won't get it. Um, I just rather not talk to people like that because they're not going to get it. They're not going to understand the level of love you feel from a pet, the level of the bond there is, and how bad it feels when you lose that pet. So for non-pet owners, try to imagine it as they lost a family member. Everybody loses a family member. They lost one too. Even though it had four legs, it was still a family member to them. So try to be very, very sensitive. Don't try to say things that wouldn't make, would hurt them. Saying it was just a pet. Never say that that is not something to say to a pet owner that's lost a pet. Grieving for pets are, for pet owners, are just the same as grieving for a family member. That's it. Because they were family members to us. And you need to be very sensitive about that. You need to be very um, caring. Not saying that it was just a pet. It's no big deal. No. Um, be very, very sensitive. Be sensitive to the fact that, especially if you know the person very well, you know their bond with their pet, don't just say that. You gotta be very sensitive to their needs, and during the first few months, you, you want to be sensitive to that. You don't want to be saying, oh, it's just a pet, it's no big deal, get over it. There's no getting over it. It's not that easy. I don't like when people say, it's just a pet, just get over it. No. He wasn't just a pet. He wasn't just an animal that just happened to live with us. No, I don't like when people say that. Um, so if you have a pet and you've lost a pet, you get it. Um, for people who don't, it's to me, it's like losing a family member. Um, for some, it's like losing a child. It's not fun to deal with, <clears throat> but that's, that's life at this point. Um, we know that pets don't live as long as we do but we take care of them for as long as they're here. And when they're not, we grieve their loss and then we decide what to do next. So it's been three months since Koji has passed, which his birthday's in a couple months. So this is gonna be very, very interesting. The first year without a pet is like the first year without your family member in your life. Um, it's like after you lose a family member, it's the first year that hurts the most. Um, but, there's hope that you can get over it eventually. It's gonna take time, but you eventually get to the point where you're okay to talk about it. You don't break down every time you talk about it. So yeah, definitely be very sensitive to the pet owners that have lost the pet. Um, it's not easy to grieve for a pet. Um, I know for the first month, I was, I was pretty depressed, I was. It was very, very hard to talk about it, still kind of is, but I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to heal my heart and just be very, very sensitive to the pet owners that have lost a pet. Um, pet owners that have lost a pet can relate to other pet owners that have lost a pet. It's not something that non-pet owners can relate to because it's never happened to them. So just be very, very sensitive to them. Be sensitive to their needs the first few months, up to a year. Sometimes it can take up to a year. Um, there's no length of time that's acceptable to agree for a pet. Like it's not acceptable to agree for a family member. Um, it just depends on the person and how long it takes them to heal. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Share the Grow community and share to other pet owners to let them know they are not alone in this. I've gone through it many times. I'm still going through it currently. So definitely share with them to let them know they're not alone and they, they can reach out to people that would understand it. Um, please share to grow our community and please like this video. Please subscribe if you're new here. I put out videos every week and hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.